Hi everybody, welcome back, Sip City. Oh man, look at this. We did a lot last episode. We did a lot of planning. We did a lot of replanning and uh, readjusting of the city, trying to tackle the traffic issues. We're also trying to tackle the demand issues. We have a worker sor shortage. Shortage? Shortage. Look, none of these factories have people to work in them because we don't have enough uh, low wealth. We're going to work on that today. Uh, and continue working on our traffic congestion problems. Look at this. Low land value. This building has become abandoned. Great. That means when it rebuilds, uh, it'll rebuild into uh, low wealth residential, which is what we need. That's what's causing the worker shortage right now. So great. Uh, what do we got here? Trans security. We've got Stratton's hair salon. Unfortunately, these two are going to bite the dust along with the clinic. The clinic is just way too close to this road. to get. So we want to get rid of this road here uh, because we want the feeder roads for this avenue to be used more. Look at this. Oh my God, look at the traffic. So piling up already. Um, all these people stuck in traffic, walking to the bus stops and stuff. It's getting very busy in Sip City. Uh, the point is, we're trying to get rid of as many intersections along this main region road as possible. This being uh, one of the culprits. Look at all the traffic getting dumped off onto the avenue from here. So, here we go. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's get the health clinic um, reinstated. We'll get it reinstated up here next to the park and ride. There we go. Did it have any upgrades? I think it probably did. Let's uh, get the sign on top. Very important. Always very important. Do we want the sign to like be on the top here or on the side? Maybe on the side so you can see it from the road. Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. Health clinic. Great. Okay. We want a patient room's wing for 300 bucks an hour. We can afford that. It's fine. We have a lot of room for expansion out here. Look at that. Whammo. Great. Uh, we'll wait for people to start working here. And as soon as they do, we can tear down the old clinic. A little bit of a waste of money, but uh, thankfully money is not a problem for me. And uh, we're going to make even more money this episode as well, because I think we could probably expand our oil operation, uh, which is great. Let's see, oil map. Oh yeah, look at all these. Look at all this unused oil. There's a whole bunch of oil here and here as well. A lot of people have been saying, "Oh, Sips, you idiot! You built on top of the oil spots." Doesn't matter. We we can always tear all this shit down and gra grab this oil. It's fine. Oh, look at this. We got 10,000 inhabitants in Sip City now, and the petition to build the mayor's house has been approved. Hooray! That is fantastic. God, that's very good. We're doing good. We're doing so good. Is this open yet? It is. It's treating zero patients. Uh, did it have an extra ambulance bay? I don't think so. No, it just had one. Look, one ambulance. That's all we needed. Okay, great. Let's knock all this shit over and... Uh, sort out this stupid traffic problem once and for all. Look, all these businesses are going to go down the shitter now, too. I'll do it! Uh, we lost everything. Look at that. It's the, uh, it's, it's the, su is it summer? May. It's like the spring of sadness. <laughs> we lost the medical center. God damn it. Uh, lots of protesting at City Hall for some unknown reason. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, these need to be upgraded as well, because this, this traffic problem is going to be even worse than the last one if we don't upgrade this to high density straight away. Here we go. High density. High density means that we get street lights, uh, which means that it can handle way more traffic and um, improves the flow of traffic as well. See? All these people queue up patiently until the green light, and then blam, it just empties it all out. And likewise here, we've got some street lights at this very, very busy T-junction going on to here. Is that high density? Should be. Let's just double check. It is. Okay, fine. High density and high density. Okay, fine. It's going to get a little bit busy. Uh, it's never going to be perfect. Uh, but the more sort of feeder roads we can get onto this avenue, the better. Uh, we can expand the avenue or we can have it sort of uh, turn around, do like a, a, like a round sort of outskirt of the oil fields and then connect back up down here. Doesn't matter. We can look at that at some point. Uh, for now, though, we have a very important job to do, and that's uh, place the mayor's house. The mayor is going to live out in this nice area of town, right next to the park and ride, uh, to increase the land value of this area, because the park and ride's probably contributing to it being a bit shit at the moment. Let's just double check that land value map. Uh, it's not doing too bad. Uh, once we plop down this mayor's house right next to it, though, I think uh, things are going to really improve down here in old suburbia. 
and it did look at that look uh, look at that what what nice coverage straight away let's get another park in here as well just to improve things a little bit uh tree-lined walkway next to the mayor's house why not right why not if i i'm the mayor that's what i want to live next to that's what i'm putting down executive decision done all done great uh of course, these are low um, low density roads, which means that we get low density uh, residents, but that's fine. That's what we want over here. We want this to be sort of low density. We want this to be like the proper sleepy suburbs. And this can be the bustling, shitty inner city of Sip City. Um, I say it's shitty. It's not actually very shitty. It's okay. Uh, still got this worker shortage. We can probably set up another area of residential over here. Dot around some commercial and make it uh, low income. I think we should probably do that. We'll uh, we'll get way more population. We'll get a lot more money per um, per hour, and it'll be great. Let's curve this around then to here. Is that a good curve? I think that's a good curve. It'll be good for now. I didn't even check my oil map or anything to make sure that it was. Ah, oh, look at that. Perfect. Right around the oil. Perfect. Um, okay. Let's. Uh, we got this like medium wealth area like nestled in between two low wealths that'll be fine though i think <laughs> i say that it's probably not going to be fine but whatever okay let's uh get this out here let's go into square mode and make some squares and or rectangles always nice you gotta love a square and a rectangle uh oh what's going on here can we not uh might need to make it like we want these rectangles to be fairly big, so there's lots of room to expand into big, ugly apartment buildings. There we go, like that. Oh, this is going to be nice. Uh, well, I say nice. It's actually going to be fairly shitty, but uh, let's do it. Bam. Uh, bam and bam. We also want to leave the corners free for some commercial so that these low-wealth residents can work in some low-wealth commercial on the corners, walk to work, not congest the roads, etc. Uh, it'll be fine. There we go. They're coming in. They're coming in. Th this should be totally low wealth around here. Let's just make sure. Yes. Only a little bit of medium is trickling in, but I don't think that's going to be enough to upgrade any of these houses. So that should be fine. Great. Uh, this section of the avenue is going to get very busy. This section of the avenue is already very busy. Look at that already. But... The regional avenue is uh, is fairly it's fairly empty now, which is very good. It means that traffic will flow in and out of the city very well, uh, except for at this bowl. Look at this! Holy shit! These people are going to be so mad. Luckily, though, the avenues um, make traffic move a lot smoother. Well, I say that they're they're like in absolute gridlock at the moment. But, but there you go. What's this? Uh, we might need to sort this out. Actually, we might need to connect this maybe further along after all of the residential god damn so much traffic let's get some bus coverage up here as well to this new area of the city buses oh, everybody loves a bus i love a bus sometimes i wish i was a bus just like an actual bus in real life i would drive around i would honk my horn at you know anybody i felt like honking my horn at just to say hello, that would be my way of saying hello. Hong Kong, good morning, everybody. People would throw eggs at me. I wouldn't mind. That would be absolutely fine with me, having eggs thrown at me, because I know when I go back to my house at night, the bus uh, maintenance depot, somebody would wash that egg off of me, I hope. Maybe not. God, who knows. All right, let's see. Where are we at with education? Always got to take a look at education we have 750 students enrolled of a possible 842 and rising and that's because we're almost at capacity uh we're going to need to upgrade this school our money per hour is increasing 1512 no problem we've got nearly 400,000 big ones in the bank holy shit that's great uh I'm, I'm so conservative. My God, I am, I'm massively conservative. Not in real life. I, I wouldn't say I'm conservative in real life, but uh, in SimCity, most definitely. All right, let's uh, expand another top floor classroom. And our primary school is now at capacity. We cannot do anything more with this primary school. Uh, we're going to have to build like a high school or something instead, or maybe a college. Uh, if we get a college, uh, which isn't approved yet, look, 800 students a day 
in a city in the region. We have 750 so far, and that's because we were limited. As soon as we get 800, we can put a community college down. We'll advance the tech level. Some of this industry will uh, improve, and that'll be quite nice. Great. Uh, police are probably going to suffer a little bit with uh, all this residential spanning out into here. There's a fire here as well. Hopefully the fire trucks can make it over here. Uh, oh, they've arrested. Oh, it was an arsonist, I think, that they just arrested. It wasn't a fire. Yeah, somebody was trying to actually light the timber top apartments up on fire. Didn't work. Uh, how are we doing crim-wise? We've got seven crims uh, out of a capacity for ten. I think we should probably add some more space on because... Um, we want to make sure that these guys are getting rehabilitated, not going back out into the city as criminals. Uh, 15,000 bucks, 15 jail cells, 300 bucks an hour, probably totally worth it. Let's get it set up right here. There we go, look at that. Look at the capacity now. 25 jail cells, and there's only 8 people in them. We've got enough money to um, sustain that, so that's fine. That'll be very good. We could probably get some more patrol cars eventually as well, so that uh, we can get some patrols up and around here. Did we... Uh, did I place the school buses for this new area? No, I didn't. Okay. I mean, these people are low income, but god damn it, they still need to go to school. It's a, it's a must in Sip City. Here we go. Because we want to unlock that college, basically, as soon as we can. That'd be great. Okay, so all these people can go to school. Uh, we've got as many buses as we could possibly fit in this primary school. Look at all the buses. They're all ready to go. They're all ready for another hard day of grueling labor at school. Uh, once it's not uh, 2 o'clock in the morning in Sip City. Fantastic. Okay. Demands. Uh, we still have worker shortages. Holy shit. Um, this is all high density, so we should be fine. Uh, we can actually get some more residential uh, in here as well. Uh, let's get it along here too. And we can probably get another expansion of houses and stuff up in there. This, oh shit, no, I don't want all that, but uh, certainly most of this, actually, I didn't mean to, I want this corner to have some commercial as well. Um, the idea of dotting commercial in and around your residential, again, I, I probably mentioned it before, uh, is so that some of the people who end up working at these places will uh, hopefully just live across the street from them and walk to work and not get in their goddamn car and add to the already massive shit heap of a traffic system that is Sip City. Uh, not the best, but um, it's getting better. It's getting a little bit better. No? Anybody? Can I get like a little bit of support on the traffic situation? Possibly have improved a little bit? No? Not even? Everybody still thinks that I suck? Okay, fine. That's fine. I can live with that for now. But, uh, but later on, hopefully, uh, I do a little bit better. It'll be nice. It'll be very nice. Okay. Um... What's going on here? These these guys are all moving in. This is great. Look at this. We've got 12,419 bastards living in this city now. Fairly close to getting the next upgrade for City Hall. Uh, it's probably worth thinking about what we want to upgrade to next. Uh, we went for the Department of Utilities so that we could get the sewage treatment plant, the big water pump that we're probably going to hook up in Twain at some point, uh, and feed water into this city. And uh, we also... Hey, what's this? Oh my god, it's... It's like she's reading my mind. The minute I said city, this popped up and said, do you want to learn how to claim another city? I think the computer game listens to um, to what I say and uh, reacts on it. No, I know how to claim another city. It's fine. Thank you, toots. Uh, go away, please. Um, we have Department of Education, uh, which we could go for. That would be great. Department of Finance. Uh, this gives you regional access to tax rate controlled per zone and wealth. Which is quite good for sort of like min-maxing your city and uh, just absolutely squeezing every last penny out of the bastards that live in your city. Uh, Department of Safety, this gives you like the hospital, fire, bigger fire station, police precinct and all that. We're going to need that eventually, but we don't necessarily need it straight away. Department of Tourism might be a good one, although we're in a fairly industrial heavy city. Um... But I mean, the thing is, regional access for all of these. So the more we upgrade City Hall in this city, uh, and in the next city that we start, uh, it'll it'll grant regional bonuses for everybody. So that's fine. We don't even really need to worry about upgrading City Hall in any of the other cities once we get all this. Uh, look at this. Simcopter 1. Holy shit. We need a municipal or international airport in the region to be able to build this. 
I'm very much looking forward to that, but it's not something we need to concentrate on straight away. Um, I think maybe Department of Education. We got a fair population in Sip City, and uh, we want to make sure that they're all educated so that we can upgrade some of this industry. Uh, upgrading it so that we can make like uh, aerospace parts and stuff like that. Uh, we can supply plastics and stuff through Recycling Center. Ah, uh, that reminds me actually. It may almost be time to get our recycling center. Look, we can totally afford it. We can afford it per hour. We can also afford the initial lump sum of 111,000 big ones. Uh, but it's great. We can send trucks around the city. We can recycle all of the uh, people that lives here's uh, cans of soda and bottled water and, and stuff like that. Um, recycle it back down into plastics that we can then export out of the city for even more money. We can also use it to build TVs and processors and other shit. We can supply our massively high-tech industry with the plastics as well, I think. I'm not quite sure. But uh, it's definitely worth doing. It's got a waste capacity of 20 tons. You can add like modules and shit onto it so that you can uh, do other stuff. You can like recycle alloys and metals and, and stuff like that. Uh, so it's probably worth doing. We should probably think of a cool place to put it. Uh, maybe up and around here. I mean, this is probably designated all for industry. <laughs> the rate we're going. Uh, more oil wells and stuff like that. So let's... Um, Let's see, what, what do we got here? Do we have any ore and stuff? Oh, look at that, we do have ore. Okay, we'll have to remember that when we when we do this avenue. The avenue will have to come down and around. Uh, oil, is there any more oil in there? Okay, yeah, so we want the avenue to be like right on the outskirts. I don't know if we're going to be able to build it there. Uh, what about coal? Okay, coal's like in the middle, by most of the oil. Okay, great, I mean, we can, we can get onto most of this stuff if we want to. Um, okay. Fine. We can get our recycling center probably built like up around here somewhere so that it's like a little bit out of the way. Unless we just shove it into the industrial area. That, I mean, that's probably not too much of a problem either. It might be easier to do that for now. Uh, let's let's do that. We can get it set up like right over here. That will be fine. It'll be along the avenue. Um, there's nothing else in here anyway, so let's go for it. Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's get a, a recycling center set up. This is going to be great. Oh, I love a recycling center. Fantastic. Look at the size of this mother. Holy shit. We're not going to be able to build it down here. Uh, there's a trade depot here uh, in the way. There's also this garbage dump here. The worst place ever for a garbage dump. We can probably relocate this. Um, can we turn the incinerator off? Yeah, let's turn the incinerator off. This is going to be great. No more incinerations. There we go. We should now just be collecting tons of garbage that we can incinerate at a later date. Um, uh, if we get rid of some of this industry, that might work. Uh, we got Big Bastard here. Let's see. Uh, is it going to fit in here? It won't fit in there. God, it needs a lot of space. That's a problem. Let's just put it like fucking right here. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Let's shove it in here somewhere. Um, it'll have to be around here, out, out in the sticks here somewhere. Because uh, we don't want to have it anywhere close to this... Uh, these are going to be fairly rich places to live soon once I start upgrading it. Uh, and we don't want it anywhere near the residential over here either. So out in the sticks it'll be. I didn't want to have to do this, but we're going we're gonna to do it. We're going to switch to Arced Roads. And we're going to try to... Oh my god. <laughs> see if we can get it to just go all the way around the entire... Oh, look at this. This is going to work. Oh, look at it. This is where we want it. We want it like here, I think. Look at 17,000 bucks. My god, we're spending so much money on roads right now. Um, I'm, I'm actually breaking a sweat. Look at this. Okay, connect it up down here. Oh, perfect. Great. We're not going to expect too, too much traffic on this road. I wouldn't have thought. Oh, shit, look, we got the community college. Great. God, there's so much sh shit to do all of a sudden. All of a sudden, it's just like... There's like a billion things that I want to do. God damn it. Okay, let's get this recycling center set up first anyway. Because uh, that's what I sort of set out to do. Uh, recycling center. We'll give it a lot of space. Uh, look at this. More than enough space. Uh, we could have it like on a service road. Maybe nestle it at the back there. Uh, do we want to try doing that? Low density street. Straight. Let's see. Uh, probably have to be something like here. Let's try this. See if it works. Recycling center. Uh, not quite. Actually, it's probably better just on, on the avenue. Uh, that'll be fine. Let's let's just do that for now. If we have to move it, we, we move it. 
We're making so much money, it doesn't even matter. We just want to get this thing set up and, and running straight away. Okay, we're going to put it right here. 111,000 big ones. Kablam. We are now able to recycle. It's closed, tiring. It's like right off in the corner. Oh shit, yeah, we got to remember there's this rail link as well. Great. We can get a trade depot set up like around here somewhere, close to the rail link. It'll be good. Um, let's wait for these guys to hire. In the meantime, can we add anything onto it? We're probably going to need this. These reclamation delivery truck garages, these are what you use to send stuff out to the local industry. Uh, recycle collection truck garage is what you send out into the city to pick up the recyclables. Um, so we're going to need probably one or two of these. Oh, look. Perfect. So much space here. Let's get two for now. Bearing in mind our money per hour is slowly dwindling. We're at 578, which should be fine, actually. 400 an hour, 400 an hour, 400 an hour. Uh, I think it comes with a plastic reclamation line, which is fine for now. Uh, what's going to happen is we're going to start producing plastic and we're going to start shipping it, which is fine. Uh, we're going to store up a whole bunch of materials here and then we can eventually branch off into metals and alloys and stuff as well. And that'll be fine. Okay, great. Uh, we're going to need to change the trade depot. Uh, oh, God. Uh, we've got two delivery trucks at the trade depot. We could probably do with more, actually. Because uh, this is going to be a fairly bustling place before long. Uh, let's just make sure before we do that that we can get this plastics thing set up. Where's the plastics? There we go. Plastic storage lot. 2000 bucks, 15 an hour. That's fine. We'll get plastic storage lot here. Uh, let's get another delivery truck set up. Fine. Uh, and let's go into here. Manage our global market deliveries. Go into plastics and export. Look at that. Every thousand plastics... 12,000 bucks. Holy shit. Great. So, recycling, as I said a long time ago, definitely pays off. Um, the money that we spent getting the stupid recycling building up in the first place, we're going to get back in no time. It's going to be great. We're just going to make a shit ton of money. It's going to be really something else. Uh, these, uh, these recycling trucks should have no problem getting to uh, where they need to go. Bit of a worker shortage uh, preventing us from filling jobs at the recycling center, which is a goddamn shame. Um, God, I hope they sort it out. Please, please, guys, please sort it out. Maybe this just like way too far from town. Maybe they want to take a bus out here. Look at this. The lone bus stop out in the middle of goddamn nowhere. <laughs> All the buses are going to have to come up here now and stop at this stop. It's going to be great. Uh, no recyclables. Production is stopped. So, we're staffed, but production is stopped uh, because we haven't actually picked up any recyclables yet. If I go in here, look, we're, we're accepting zero of zero. That's going to change. Once the first recycling trucks go out into the city, uh, all of a sudden people are going to think, oh shit, we can actually recycle now. And uh, the more educated they are, uh, the more likely they are to recycle. Luckily for us, everybody in this city is pretty much educated. Look at that. We taught 940 students yesterday. I think that's probably um, just about as much as you can. Look, 942 of 966. So we've actually got some people uh, who aren't able to be educated at primary school. <laughs> that's the only school we've offered in Sip City all this time. That's okay, though. We're going to build a college pretty soon. Once we get... Uh, once the density increases on some of these places, god damn it, they're, they're fairly happy. It's going to take a little while. They need to be like ultra happy, get to the point where they're so happy that uh, they can't think of anything else to do other than upgrade their house, uh, upgrade their house, and then and then we're in the money. We'll, we'll see a big increase here on our hourly money. Uh, of course, we'll see more money coming in, rolling into the coffers. And uh, population will boost as well. My god, 13,372 people. I think we started with like 9,000. So not too bad for this episode. Okay, that's probably a good place to stop. Um, man, god. We're, we're doing so well. Things are really, really going well. Like, there's not too many things going wrong. There's still a lot of demand that we can't necessarily fulfill. But we're working on it. It takes time. It takes time to fulfill that demand. Uh, next time, we'll probably build a college uh, when we can afford it at some point. Uh, and then we're going to go nuts and get 
this goal uh, for the Petroleum Daily Profit so that we can make a refining division. And then when we make a refining di division, we're going to start using the oil to make fuel. And then when we run out of oil to make fuel, we're going to import oil to make fuel because fuel sells for more than oil. Uh, and it's going to be great. Uh, there's, we're never going to run out of money in this city. It's going to be really good. We can look at coal. We can look at ore. We can look at doing all that kind of stuff as well. Um, God, the possibilities, they're endless. Okay, as usual, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.